I mean, we wanted a high quality Catholic education. My wife had been schooled Catholic or from kindergarten through college. I had gone to Catholic college and that's what we wanted for our children. What was important to me looking for a school for my children was that the curriculum as well as the class sizes. We travel like almost 40 minutes here every day. That's how much we like the school. We were looking for an environment that was loving and an environment that educated not only academically, but socially. We did what is probably the very typical center city parent thing, which is we looked at a lot of uh, the private schools and even had our son in pre-K at one of them. But we also, because we're in the parish, knew that there was uh, an open house. We went and looked. As you kind of went from classroom to classroom, you kind of really just got the feeling that this was a school that valued each child. The message was, send them here, we'll love them, we'll teach them, and we did, and just haven't regretted it once. It's no longer just a neighborhood school. It's, you know, it's bringing in uh, students from other areas of the city, which uh, uh, is a good thing in that the students that are from this immediate neighborhood get to learn about other areas of the city because they come from different areas, uh, it has made us a very diverse population, which I think is great. We're still a Catholic parish school. There's strong parish support. We have four priests that live here at the parish and totally support the school and are involved in any way that they can be. The basic mission of the gospel, I mean, the Catholic grade schools were here elsewhere, the general principle about this, it's a mission of the parish. I think our understanding, our model of, about education, you could say is sort of like a wheel, the faith, and you know, as a religious school is, is kind of, that's the hub which integrates all these other fields of knowledge properly. Catholic Formation and Evangelization Program is a unique program that was started here at St. Francis Xavier, and the formation is all about producing that Christ-centered environment, which is going to have as its fruits the saints of tomorrow. And each day we try and remind the students here of their call to holiness, to their vocation to sanctity in their everyday life. And the evangelization aspect is to realize that this formation isn't good enough just coming from us, it has to come from the home. The students could hear it from me, but then again, I'm just some guy at school, right? So unless it's coming from me and the parents, you know, it's not really going to take root. Without the formation in faith and morals, then we're no different than any other public school. Christ has to be more than just part of our school, you know, maybe a subject in the afternoon. He needs to be really the environment itself and the lens with which we look at the rest of our subjects. My teaching philosophy, I start with the basics. Academically, we start counting, sorting, and math, pattern making, learning how to write our name, our ABCs. And, you know, we also work a lot with social development, taking turns, sharing, manners. Working together with them, seeing them grow every day is a really rewarding experience for a teacher and I'm sure their parents, they see the progress that they make because each day they get little worksheets sent home with notes or like, great job. First graders are really unique because they could come into your room in September, they're not really independent yet, and then as the year goes on, they transition into this whole other person where they're working on their own and they're problem solving and they're reading books that are up, way above their level. We do a lot of creative things, projects. We use manipulatives, which the kids love. You'll see them speaking in front of the class, which is a big thing that I, I have them do. My teaching philosophy is really that it's not only about teacher-student, it's about teacher-student-parent communicating with each other. I love fifth grade. It's a great age because uh, students are becoming more independent, but they're also still interested in learning and they want to do well. 
I think I give my students choices when it comes to independent reading and projects, doing different projects, and I think choices makes it more interesting for the student because it, their project isn't going to look like everybody else's and it, it can be individual and unique. It's, it's important. They're becoming more independent and having a choice and them being responsible is teaching them to be independent also. My philosophy is that you take them from where they are and get them to where you need them to go. And in my case, I need them ready for high school. The goal is that when our kids go to high school, academically they're prepared, but also socially, so that when they get into that new environment, they've experienced talking to adults. And it's not like, oh, I can't ask the teacher. I guess that's our philosophy, is really just to kind of get them prepared for the world. I think we educate the whole child by going beyond just, you know, core curriculum. We do offer art, music, PE, and technology, but at the same time, we have programs that if a child is struggling, we have an improvement of reading program. We have extra math help if needed. And then those that need to be challenged, we also try to address their needs, whether it be through advanced math or teaching them Latin, or having enrichment programs that are designed just to challenge them. We have a partnership with the uh, Philadelphia Museum of Art, where all grades one through eight have a chance twice a year to visit the art museum and work with the museum educator, and they're exposed to just a wealth of art, and they learn about so many things, they come back so excited. That has been wonderful. It was sort of always a building that was kind of over there. And you know, it was art and it wasn't interesting, but the, the partnership with the Art Museum has made it very interesting. The students are very engaged when they go. And we also have a relationship with the Pennsylvania Horticultural Society. Our students enter the Junior Flower Show each year. We also have, that we're very uh, proud of, I guess you'd call it a partnership with the Malta Boat Club. Our seventh and eighth grade boys work with members of Malta for a Learn to Row program. And uh, that's very special. I'm, I'm not aware of any other grade school in the Archdiocese that has that. So all those things together help us to, I think, educate the whole child. The school takes full advantage of its location and the wonderful city advantages. In other schools that I've taught, it's order a bus, pay the bus, do this, where because we're right here, it's just walk over and do it. <laughs> it's nice because everything's within walking distance and it's like the city is our extended classroom. It's truly a community. It's an educational and nurturing community for the kids. The amount of effort and time that they put into educating our kids is just uh, remarkable. It is much more of a religious instruction of the heart, how to be, how to treat people. My daughter, she was ill at one point, and she was in the hospital, and I just felt so overwhelmed. Every morning, the priest would call out her name in prayer, and how the principal came up to visit my daughter at one point. You don't get that from a lot of schools. Um, the children really feel safe here. It's not about you being Catholic or not Catholic. You know, we have that feeling of prayer around us. People that come in here always say, wow, this is a happy place. I think it is. I think it's very family oriented in that the students all seem to know each other. We know them. It's just somewhere you can go where you'll see friendly faces.